What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. All right, so listen up. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my Xbox Series X at launch. The reason I'm making this video is because I got a few people asking me. So here's the deal. Let me rephrase that. I got my Xbox Series X. I just don't have it with me. I know that sounds weird. Let me explain. When I pre-ordered it, I pre-ordered it in California, and now I currently live in a different state all the way in the East Coast, right? So I thought that I could switch the pickup location somewhere throughout the process. Well, I tried. I went for months and months just trying and trying and trying to switch up the, the picking location, and for whatever reason, this store just wouldn't let me do it. So I wasn't able to do it, um, and here I am. So what happened... What I ended up doing was one of my boys, shout out ISIL, he went to the store, picked it up for me, and then he literally shipped it, shipped it the next day. It's scheduled to get here on the 17th, so I won't have my Xbox Series X until Tuesday. So t seven days after I was supposed to get it, that's when I'll get it. But it is what it is. Next time some pre-order like this happens, I'm going to just pre-order it where I believe I'll be at, and then I'll... I'll just I'll just go from there. I couldn't even have it sh like I couldn't even order and have it shipped to an address because I knew during that transition period I wasn't going to have an address. So it is what it is. So here's a positive thing, though. Right. I got the Xbox Series X so that I could play Game Pass so that I could play games at the highest fidelity. Right. Older games. That is, I know why I got it. That is why I got it. And then I'll have the option of playing third party games with a very powerful system as well. But mostly I'm going to be playing older games. The cool thing about Game Pass is that you can use it across all platforms. So I literally have been playing Gears of War Ultimate. The, that's the first one that they remastered or that they remade for. I don't know, probably like the past five days. Ever since I beat uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, that's what I've been playing. And I've been playing on my phone, especially after I got that Rishi controller, the, the, the Razer Kishi controller. Oh, my God. It's just been amazing. Today, I went ahead and connected my, my Xbox One S. And I'm just going to continue playing the games that I wanted to play. And I'll play on... All the different platforms, and the cool is the cool thing is it's it say it keeps your saves right, so it's not like I gotta start all over. So it is what it is, man. Until my Xbox Series X gets here, this is what I'm gonna do. But this is actually the games that I'm gonna be playing. Like I'm gonna be playing Gears of War two next, and three, and four, and five, all of those. So I guess it's not that bad. I'm still playing the same game. It's just not at all uh, at 4K or whatever. Or at high texture quality. I'll be honest with you, this actually doesn't look that bad. Doc Dog1985, yo, there's levels to this. Yeah, if you know how to beat this dude, send me a message. This guy's been messing me up for like the past two days. He's he's gotta be the boss. He's gotta be. Alright guys, we out. Peace.